Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. LSUS Culture Gaming Winter Invitational, the last Overwatch game we'll see today. And it is going to be Colorado Mesa University versus Colonel Esports. It's going to be an interesting one. We saw at least some action on the Colonel Esports. I do believe Colorado Mesa, we've only seen that Volskaya map, and that's about it. They are continuing to pop off. No one getting access to this point here so far. It will be flipped, and now Carl Mesa Esports University will find themselves onto the point. Contestion still here. Flipping over. No, not yet. They will finally get it, though, in their acquisition. Yeah, eventually taking over here, Carl Mesa. Really didn't feel like they needed too many picks. It just felt like they played positioning really well, but now they're fighting a brawl here in this corner, and they're going to lose one member already. Junkrat going down. So, I mean, the momentum shift Colonel Esports needs to take this point over fairly quickly straight back from him as they push on through this choke point a good beat but that shield's gonna block a lot of the beat an amazing bubble gonna clear out los and actually deny so much shielding from this lucio well he got ult too fast it does not mean a whole lot for him but luckily said savitra picking up so many kills here will force colonel esports off the point yeah great call and almost didn't get it off in time he saw that he got knocked to a lower playing field like physically down the steps which means that there was more space for him to travel for the break it down but it was enough here comes the plus healing for the teammates unknown doing some fantastic work as the other healer on the board here comes the gravity surge though from colonel esports they find an angle they only found one though as bigger will fall Ooh. Here comes the rocket barrage on the backside, and it will completely catch off guard the entire lineup from Colonel Esports. Sent them back to an early spawn. This is hopefully a flip for them, as it does not look like there's anything to contest. But 64% is a mighty fine effort. Colorado Mesa University feeling comfortable with that. Yeah, if you're Colonel Esports and the flip doesn't happen there, I think you have some concerns, as that was a whole lot of ultimates, a whole lot of picks. And they're able to turn that one around and get some time on the point of their own. 64% will mean that there'll be two fights left oh here. If Sadiq does get flipped on again, then it looks like they will as all the picks come out. An amazing oh Deadeye on top Lord. of it all. Badger goes crazy here on the right side of the map. The entire team of Colorado cleaning it up quickly. And with only 28% on the board, Colonel Esports has got to make it back here quick and continue to push through this roster that Colorado's got. That is mighty impressive. I thought for a moment that things were going to go haywire, but enemy runs right into the stun grenade there from Cole Cassidy. His badger will pick up that one, get enough for the ulti charge, find the dead eye angle, and then that rip tire on, on top of it. It's just too much. It's just it's just a little bit of damage, Soul Pan. Just a little bit. I Pushing on to the point that Coalescence coming through. Savitra trying what they can. will take out in tandem just the one on Coffee. But then the Prime Surge is coming from Primal Rage, sorry, coming through, gonna do some major damage to everyone, unfortunately, in the monkey's wings. Still fighting on the point, contesting still here, are they able to flip this? It doesn't look like it's gonna be something so easily done, but Diva's swinging in, flying in with the Rocket Booster. On the point will remain two members. Flying back and forth will be this Winston versus Tracer 1v1, but Tracer will end up winning, and they will actually take the first point. Map round one going over to Colonel Esports. Or sorry, and you saw Colorado Mesa. You saw a three-man primal rage there that still didn't allow them to win that point. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the play right here as Putnut just went crazy with that one. Let's catch some of this action. Is, yep, bah, there it is. Bah, one, bah, two, and boom, three. Clean it up. Two environmentals and then one here in the corner on top of the sauna. Should be the last. And you know what? If you can't win off the back of those three plays, those three kills, Colorado Mesa University absolutely deserved that first point and map. I mean, it is what it is, right? It's, what are you gonna do? <laughs> it's tough. It's a tough one when you, when, you, when you pop off so hard, your team can't make anything of it. You're just like, oh, I killed half their team. What are you doing? It's all good. It's for it's for fun. Yes, this is a, a free entry tournament. Yes, there's money on the line, but come on, it's it's for a celebration, if anything, for being an inaugural tournament. The amount of skill so far that we've seen in these three games alone is it's staggering. It's flabbergasting. I'm I'm thoroughly impressed, and You're I'm not just saying that to get some shit. I'm thoroughly flabbergasted. I'm not just saying that to try and get some raisin canes over here, you know? Give me some chicken, heads. please. 
please four <laughs> cupcakes i just want yeah. some i'm not asking for a for, lot just like a, a for few. additional context jared baratel castiglione over here had the luxury yeah. the privilege to go down down to the south oklahoma not quite louisiana but he had a, the chance to try some raising canes and unfortunately yeah. raising canes does not exist in the pacific northwest so we are stuck yeah. without that delicious chicken yeah as much as we definitely appear like we're from the area i i feel I'm from idaho soul pen also in idaho we're uh we're here to to do what we can right by you folks uh in attempts to maybe coerce raising canes to put a chicken location out here <laughs> I will that speak endless praise of Raising Cane's <laughs> chicken if I have to. You know, casting, there are no qualms with Raising League Cane's. Legends, yeah. Casting Rocket League's good fun, but we're here to get Raising Cane's in Idaho. That's the real, that's the real motivation. If this is step one on that fantastic journey and that's the end goal, I'm in. Count me I in. I do think we have our next match ready, though. To get mm -hmm. all the players loaded on into the lobby. I believe the get map. In the lobby. Drum roll, please. Will Temple be... of Anubis. No. Uh, Blizzard, Blizzard World. Blizzard World. Oh. <laughs> Don't sound so disappointed. Come on now. It's I... Blizzard World. We're going to the, the homeland. The thing about Blizzard World, it's a fantastic map. It's got a lot of verticality, which I always find really important in competitive games. Having flat maps is super boring because it doesn't give that kind of three-dimensional feel to a game. Um, the problem is, it's so cool I want it to be real. I would I would not. love to go to Snacks Aramis. I would love to get a snack from Snacks Aramis, okay? See I'm what uh, sort I of I, can... I just want some snacks. I, I, I just mostly, give me some snacks. Just... <laughs> I think you're just hungry. <laughs> I'm starting yeah, to get I'm the hungry. feel like you're just hungry. Talking way, is hard sometimes. <laughs> yeah, man. Takes it out of you. Makes it you really want does. some food. Makes you want some of those like cupcakes. Food. Give me some um, <laughs> cupcakes from Cupcakery. Small cakes. Give me some of them. Look at this. This is actually not too far off from the arena that this is being held at, actually, if we're not going to be too oh, yeah. too forthcoming. The great, uh, Temple of Doom? Great observatory about the back room there? there. That back room with all like the computers, the stations, the giant screens, the atmospheric lighting. All very cool. And we'll have to see whether or not Colorado Mesa University can keep things cool, calm, and collected. That they are on series point if they can clutch out this map. Chrome Esports, again, continue to try and fight to get themselves maybe some pride points, maybe keep themselves alive. Cafe switching back over to the Hanzo. We've seen how devastating a good sniper can be so far on this attacking side. We'll have to see if that remains to be true so far with this attack. Shots across the board. Good old projectiles to get some of the initial poke off. Of course, this will be the drive fight and no ultimates for anyone. Just who can find a pick and snipers typically more powerful in this scenario than any other character. So you can get that instant right. headshot. Turn into a five versus six. It'll let you just push on through so quickly. You just click heads, forehead. Just click heads. Nice dash. Dash to the side. It's going to be huge. This is an important thing as well. As I always wonder... In other games, especially so far when there's not like a lot of utility or abilities, ultimates, we would say, on the line, it's almost a consideration to focus a tank that's out of position. Because for the moment, they're not the most in impressive tanky uh, statue, if you will, without having those crucial ultimate abilities. So trying to get that pick opportunity. I mean, you saw Kafe able to get the dragon. Here it comes. Damage going to come through, but the immortality field's there. They actually forced the sound barrier, too. Maybe a little bit too overzealous with that defense, but the d damage is coming through this amplification matrix. It will force Colonel Esports to reassess their attempted attack. I mean, it works. You got to burn every single ultimate you had, but it works. Do you have the beat advantage and the dead eye advantage, and now the bongo on top of it all? So there is some risk here, but they're going to be able to sweep through the remaining members, get a, a bunch of more ult charge for themselves. That's going to be three ults coming online for Colorado Mesa University, and now they're going to feel a whole lot more comfortable coming into this next fight. So they have the sound barrier of their own for Colonel Esports in a tandem with the dead eye, and of course the bongo, everyone's favorite ultimate, in my opinion. No, it's just my favorite ultimate. But in tandem, <laughs> we, we see the Blizzard plus the self-destruction and Shatter. You know, 
keeping people in place while the big damage comes down from the sky might be what they need to continue to force Chrono Esports to reconsider attacking, although they don't really have much of a choice. Blizzard being thrown on the statue. Here's that self-destruction, and it somehow finds two with that momentary panic running into that side building. The DPS, as well as I do believe some damage from the Reinhardt, will find two as well. So two ultimates, four kills. I think that's a value right there. That's a that's a monetary value gain. That's like Absolutely. a buy one, get happy. one. Gotta be happy about that one. Everyone coming out here. And again, Color Mass University has already built these ults. A few swaps does mean that Colonel University won't have ultimate on that hog or that reaper. But this might just be what they need to get through this tank lineup. So we'll see how they utilize that. Punk Physics yeah. is kind of hanging out here, waiting for the Shatter opportunity. Shield's gone down, he might be looking for it right now, but there is a Bongo on the field too. There it is in the oh corner! Three-man Shatter! Everyone's gonna clean him up, and that'll help him build even more ultimates for that next fight. Bongo's such a cool tool, because you can use it to just throw damage to the rest of your teammates. And uh, as much as it looked like it was an opportunity for Colonel Esports to break through, it was found out, it was capitalized on, and that Shatter was... Dirty. Love Lucio players that realize that I am fast enough to go back to spawn, get my team escorted to where the fight is, and then we can continue to fight. What I will say, though, is Colonel Esports has a very interesting trick up their sleeve, or did. Um, they do have the Flame Strike through the Amplification Matrix, but Orissa through Amplification Matrix is also just as deadly. Here comes the Sound Barrier. Damage across Immortality Field as well. Here comes the Shadow of their own. But yet again, Crony Sports is left wanting in terms of damage and target acquisition. The whole health bar and kill streak on the top right will all be blue triumphs over red as Colonel Esports struggles yet again to even get a toe tapping on this first point. Just running to the point once again. Lucio does manage to stall out and there's a ball over the wall. He will also stomp on down so they have a chance here to try and stall through. Colorado Mass University needs to be careful here. Make sure they can get these targets, focus them down quickly, and force them off the point. So yeah, another one's going to stall at this overtimer just a little bit longer. Enemy here on the side trying to fight the D.Va one versus one. You eventually lose that, Three though. HP. She's just too tanky. And now on the backside of this one, it will be the Reaper falling and finally the Monkey. And this will be overtime given on over Explode. Colorado Mass University. A single tick of Blizzard World away from making it to the Losers Finals. Yeah, I mean, to, to be fair, though, it's it's shown that they are very comfortable uh, kind of defending. This map is a, one of a few that has only two very wide open points of contention. Um, but as long as you can flip the coin and force your enemy to go through one of those two points and you meet them head on, it's going to be difficult for any team to try and break that through. And Colonel Esports really struggling to find an edge. They were able to find picks here or there but it was just not enough for them to gain a dominant foothold on that first point. We'll have to wait and see what Colorado Mesa University pulls out to maybe be the aggressors. Oh, okay. I can rest easy. A doom fist in my a doom fist in the potentially final game here today is just a thing of dreams for me. A good doom oh, fist nice. player is beyond annoying for a team but boy is it fun to watch them like pop off <laughs> i'd absolutely agree with that we do have the setup here and now keep in mind one tick means that colorado Mesa university could just play for six ultimates they don't necessarily need to use yeah. anything and then they can just use everything all at once just to stomp right, through early sports his last line of defense here mm -hmm. And look at how much time they have starting off to just get that. Four minutes in total is a huge amount of time to just get 100% across the board. Do they get a pick early on, though? Here comes some grenades here from KWAD. We've seen Zarya's do some pretty devastating things to an enemy team before. Well, that will be the case right now. Splitting up. This is a great call from Esports having to pick one or both sides to defend at the same time. Could be a, a, what they need, being decisive and divisive. Pushing forward. Bastion can't set up. He's been found. Is he going to be protected? Kafe able to do the damage they need to, but will finally fall. And it is a kill spread in favor of Colonel Esports. This is a defender favored point to be assured. His bagel is the only one left to defend. The health bars are maybe getting themselves back to his teammates. Don't know if they want to consider doing that anymore. They are going to switch to the Tracer and... May combo 
I think Blizzard's a fantastic ultimate to have in any regard, depending on the performance for this Tracer player. Might be something, might be something scary. We've seen Tracers pop off all day today too. Just gonna be fortunate that we called there. Trying to get mm -hmm. picked off. There's a Reinhardt on the point. A good wall to try and block some of the Bastion damage. So now has to rotate on over on the high ground here. Beat does come out from Beagle on top of it all. There is almost a Graviton Surge though. Coffee's gonna go tank mode. A massive shatter wow. comes out. That is huge Holy for cow. Colonel Esports. And all of a sudden you don't need anything else as everyone just drops. I think that was a five or six man coming out from Putnut. That was insane. Man, this is this is why Blizzard World's so cool, right? This first point is so shattered? difficult. This the the whole map is just an uphill battle. It's so it's so challenging. You really have to play to such an nth degree to to find an edge uh, to to push the cart x amount of distance. Um, unfortunately, there's no Michael on Azaria for them to use. But here comes some. Some freeze attacks opportunity damage is going across the board. Zavitra will find someone with the call down. The boop across the board. Bagel trying to keep them off the point, and they are able to completely force them off the zone for the first tick. A C9 of sorts, but a forced one at that. Wow. Interesting. What a way to and close put, it no, out. This is the put nut big shatter. Oh, wait, this is watch. this is what I would call out. Boom. Ooh. Oh my lord. Bam. Every Reinhardt's bam, dream boom, right bam. there. And but not just You've done it, it before. You know exactly <laughs> what that feels like. Don't even. I mean, that, that's why I'm saying it's Reinhardt's dream. Incredible yeah. play coming up from Colorado <laughs> Messi University. A well-deserved entrance here into the Losers Finals. Mm -hmm. And keep in mind, they got knocked down here by Supreme, who will be facing off against Sky right. in the Winners Finals tomorrow. So we'll have to see how that match resolves. And they might get their chance at redemption there in that matchup. Oh, well, it's been a fantastic.